So in my last video, I asked you guys what, what kind of meat you would like to see me cook next, and unanimously you guys said brisket. So that gave me an idea of a video I did with Troy and a bunch of other YouTubers uh, about six months ago where we went to his house and he cooked for us three different types of briskets. One in, that was naked, <laughs> one that was in foil, and one that was in paper. And at the end, we all kind of voted on what we decided we liked the best. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But the results were that we all kind of liked the one that was not wrapped better than the one that was uh, in foil or in paper. And paper was the one that came out the least popular. So ever since that time, Troy and I have been talking about doing that video over. I think I'm just gonna do that today, but I wanna get some advice on him or from him on how to do it. So I've got him on the fake video phone here. We're gonna talk about it. Hey Troy, how's it going today, buddy? Hey Justin, appreciate you calling, man. I was just fixing to start a Thursday chat, bro. What you got going on today? So I'm thinking about redoing our brisket video and I'm a little nervous, so I was wondering if maybe you could give me some tips and maybe take a sip of beer. Hey, no problem, man. What do you need? What you got? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so did we just use the flats on those or did we use the points and the flat? Full packers, man. You don't want to be messing around with nothing else. Just get you a full packer. Okay, was that choice grade or prime or select? What did we do there? I prefer to use all USDA prime. Use the best possible grade of beef that you can get. So what temperature did you cook those at? Was that like 225, 250, 3000? 225, 250. That's fine. Okay, so not not 3000 degrees. Okay. So I feel, I hope you don't mind. I just have a I have a few a few more more pages. Um so, okay, do you use, like, what kind of rub do you use? Do you use, like, salt and pepper, and if so, how much? And do you, do you like, layer on the salt and then the pepper, or vice versa? And what kind of thermometer do you use? Do you like, like, a, like a thermopin, or do you, like, a leave-in thermometer? And is there, like, a particular direction you want your pit to face? Like, do you point it, like, towards Central Texas for good Of course, you're in Central Texas, so do you just point it around in circles to get good luck, kind of get all the juju on you? Uh, or is there something like that that you do? And did you wrap them tight or did you wrap them loosely? And how long did you rest them afterwards, if, if at all? And did you use a cooler or just towels? And if it was just towels, is there a particular brand of towel or maybe thread count that you particularly enjoy? Hang on, Justin. You know what? I think it'd just be better if I come help you with this brisket cook in person. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Good how you doing, you. Justin? Oh. Yeah, good to see you too, yeah, man. man. Yeah. This isn't because I asked you too many questions, is it? Yeah, it is. So hey guys, we're here. We're about to shoot a brisket video. Like I said before, this is a, a redo, a partial redo, we're only doing two briskets this time, of something that I did, we did at Choice House yeah. earlier this year. What was the deal with the paper that you got a lot of feedback on that? Well, it was my first time trying butcher paper, and apparently I overwrapped the brisket, and that prevented the brisket from getting further smoke, and it treated it more like, like you would wrapped in foil because it was so much paper on the brisket that it steamed the brisket. Do you remember how many times you went over? Yeah, I wrapped it three times. Okay. So we're gonna go a little less this time. Okay. Right? Yeah. We're gonna try it out again. That's the plan. So we got two briskets of equal size. We got them. We got them at Costco. And these are USDA Prime too. Right. They are USDA Prime. There was a, a lot of fat on them. I cut a lot of it out, but yeah. I don't know. We're, they're probably about. What do you think? About twelve pounds? Yeah, probably about twelve. Yeah, I go with that. And then we added a rub of just basic salt and pepper, like. 50-50? Yeah, 50-50 makes it pretty, pretty good. So we're gonna do this on the Mac grill. And you've been working real hard getting this thing ready to go for us tonight. You getting it fired up, Justin? I worked all day on this. Now I've only had food off of a pellet cooker or pellet smoker, uh, maybe once, maybe twice. But uh, I'm curious to see how this is gonna turn out on this pellet grill, Justin. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah. I've cooked on it. I've cooked on it three times. I've done three smokes. It's always really, really good. It's kind of like cheating, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> we're gonna see how it turns out. <laughs> so we're gonna kick this off. We're gonna run it overnight in the morning. We'll catch back up with you guys, and we'll wrap it, and we'll see how this turns out. Yeah.
Good morning YouTube. It is the cooker has been going for about eight hours. We've had the brisket on there and we noticed this morning when we woke up that uh, the top brisket was cooking a little bit faster than the lower one so I swapped them out and now they're both pretty even at 157 degrees and I wanted to show this to you before we wrap them because um, they look really pretty. I know some of you guys are going to ask this is uh, we're using Traeger hickory pellets. Um, and I know I got a lot of feedback from people saying Traeger isn't the best brand of pellet. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, I'm, I'm reviewing, I'm going to do a review on this cooker where I uh, did a lot of comparisons, like I did a, uh, a pellet efficiency test and things like that. And I wanted to use a standardized pellet that kind of everybody could relate to. So. The Traeger is definitely one of the most available pellets, so that's the reason why I use that. But it, obviously, the food looks great, and we're gonna wrap this up and, uh, and rock and roll. Alright guys, so it's been about 15 hours. The briskets are done. In fact, they're sitting right here and the grill's right here. I didn't actually plan that, but anyways, they were on the grill for 15 hours, about four and a half or nine and a half hours unwrapped, and then we wrapped them for four and a half hours. I think that's that's what we decided, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was about 14, and I think we pulled them both real close to the same time, amazingly. I I thought maybe the the butcher paper wrap will go a little bit longer, but yeah, because it, it was did, actually about 15 minutes longer. That was about it. Yeah, and at your house when we did the last, which check, I'll put a link below or put a link in the hey, card. Hey, yeah, see where it cooks. Yeah, <laughs> that other one it, it took about an hour longer. Yeah. when it was in the when paper. we did it. Yeah, in my house when it was in the paper. So cooker 225 the whole time. Uh, we used about 15 pounds of pellets for those of you guys who are interested in that kind of thing. So about an hour per pound for the pellets. Yep, it is. That's good math. I know. That's great. Yeah, I'm a quick. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and we've just been hanging out all day. Yeah. You know, we shot one of his uh, T Roy or uh, Thursday chat Thursday chat videos yeah. and hung out. The weather was beautiful. It's like the perfect barbecue guy's day. I mean, it was it, it was, was great. great. Yeah, real good. So we're gonna let these rest for a couple hours and then uh, and then we'll meet you guys back in the kitchen. It smells awesome. I can't wait to look. Catch you in a few. All right. All right, man. What do we got here? Well, right here we got our paper. This is the foil wrap brisket. All right, let's look at this. What do we see here, just just by stepping back and looking at appearance? At, yeah. If go ahead. Go well, ahead. it seems like this has definitely got more more of a bark, and this yeah. this is a little softer. It's kind of still what do you still kind of wet on the surface. This one actually did stick a little bit to the foil. This one stuck a lot on the bottom side to the paper. Mm -hmm. And I think that this, this bark right here is a little bit firmer. The paper absorbed a lot of the juices, or the, the grease, I guess, off the, the, the fat and whatnot. It did. Um, but it's a nice, crisp, darker colored bark. This was more of a more, more mahogany colored bark. Yeah, so I, I guess it is. I would say this one got more smoke, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I can see that now. From where I was sitting, I thought they looked pretty similar, but now that I look at it, well, that could be the red coming off this cutting board, though. I don't think so, because to my eye, not to my eye, this one is darker. Okay. 
Um, this one, this one has spots over here where it's a little thinner, where it, it is a little darker, but this area over here, it, it looks not as dark as the paper wrapped. But well, the, this, this is definitely wetter. It is wetter. Which would, you know, I mean, it's steamed in the foil, so basically it's going to be wetter. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, let's cut into one of the, let's cut into the, this one first. Okay. And we'll take a look at it, and then we'll cut into this one and take a look at that, and we'll just decide which one we like better. They smell terrific. Yeah. They sure do. Let's go for it. All right. That is definitely tender, man. Definitely tender. Oh, uh, that looks good. Yeah. So this is this is the foil, right? Yes, foil wrap. Got a pretty good smoke ring on right, it. I'm pull it back a little bit so I can lay some pieces out for you. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, got a nice little smoke ring, huh? Definitely. That looks good, folks. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's still smoking hot. <clears throat> oh, that looks, yeah, <laughs> that looks really good from here. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, uh, that's tender, man. All right, let me. What do you think? It's excellent. Well, hope y'all can see that bark on there. Maybe better if I get the end cap here. Check this down out. there. Yeah, check this end piece out right here. Can you okay. get a get a tight shot on that, baby? Yeah, let me try that. That's a nice looking bark, man. Yeah, it is real nice. That looks good. Yeah, the uh, the slices themselves. I mean, they're they're definitely tender. You want to try the uh, paper wrap? Or you want to go ahead and cut some of this? Let's go ahead and try the let's try the paper wrap and see what we think. Okay. That while it's fresh in our mind. All right. Oh, the bark is definitely harder. There you go. Nice little bark on there, boy. Hmm. It's got a nice smoke ring on it as well. A little bit more smoke ring, I think. Yeah, it, it kind of appears that way. This one's just as tender. I mean, folks, check this out. This is just, this is just, some, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's some fun brisket right there, folks. Mm. You see the difference in the bark on these? Hopefully. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's coming through, but. And then we got the, uh, I mean, the juiciness factor here. They look similar and right rate. here. Are they, what, can you tell a difference? They're definitely more similar uh, than I would have thought. I really expected the, the paper one to be a little bit drier. The bark is definitely firmer on the paper wrap. That's for sure. Man, that's good. Yeah, it is. Seriously good. This even, this tastes more beefy than the uh, full wrapped. Why do you think that is? I'm not sure. It definitely is beefier to me though. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. All right, man, I gotta tell you, if if they if you would have given me either one of these, I wouldn't have missed the other one. They were, they were both really, really good. They're really close in flavor. Um, personally, just personally, I like the butcher paper wrapped one because I'm more of a bark aficionado and the bark was definitely firmer and harder and it also had a little darker uh, color on the bark and for some reason it had a little beefier flavor than the foil wrapped one yeah you could taste it yeah it was really concentrated like on the surface um, i called it a tanginess earlier but i can't really describe it. it's like a salty beefy like you definitely yeah. could taste it um it may have been the hook hickory wood because i don't use hickory a whole lot that could have been it. Could have been. I didn't think about that. Yeah. And but, the, uh, the for the foil wrap one. Yeah, we the foil wrap. It was just like you'd expect. Like the foil was more tender texture wise, and then the the paper because it breathes. I guess that's the theory. Yeah. Because it breathes, it had a better bark on it, and it was. I mean, that's exactly. And we both. I, I like the paper too. Um, but then my wife walked in after we were done cutting it up, and she <laughs> without question liked the foil. And we were surprised yeah. because we both oh, liked the paper. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and then she's like, we were like, is, which one did you eat? And she was deaf, she like, but it was because she liked the texture. Yeah, it was. It, it was, was a softer texture. It was, yeah the, yeah, the bark was softer. It had more of a, a mahogany color in my eye. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it didn't quite have as beefy a flavor. But I'll tell you, they were, honestly, they were very, very close. Yeah. Really close, folks. And I was impressed with the smoke flavor. Yeah, I've only I've only had a couple times prior to this. I've only had uh, you know meat cooked on a uh, a pellet cooker, pellet smoker. Yeah, I was really impressed with this. 
Yeah, this and, is, and we got some sleep. We did get some sleep. <laughs> that was nice because we've done this before and we haven't gotten some sleep. Right. right. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that Mac Two Star. That's one of the things that's crazy about it is how much smoke flavor. Because I noticed this in the last video. I did a a pellet or a, I did a, a pork butt before, yeah. and I'll put a link to that up there. But it, the, one of the things that jumped off the page at me was how smoky it was. I didn't have any expectations for that, and it was like boom. I was impressed. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I'm impressed. And sleep is nice. Yeah, sleep's real nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming down. I appreciate you being in my video. Hey, great, man. I appreciate yeah. you inviting me over, man. It's T always nice hanging out with you. T-Roy Cooks, <laughs> y'all go check him out. Uh, he's been doing this for what, five years now? Yeah, about five years. Yeah, go check him out. Great channel. I got a few videos up. He does. He posts twice a week. Man, the guy's a machine. And uh, I really appreciate you joining us. We'll see you guys the next time. Love you guys. Cheers.